and the myth, the legend, Catfish Terry, guys. You know, I thought about getting a t-shirt made up. It's got a picture of Terry, Catfish Terry on it, and across the top or across the back, maybe across the top, I wanted to say some legends, or just Catfish Terry, some legends are true. Some legends are real. Or some, le or, 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 or some legends are real. That'd be good. Picture me in a wheelchair. Thanks guys, we appreciate it. 16 people in the room, 14 thumbs up. Tom Kelly, the super chat man, appreciate it. Yeah, Tom, thank you. Fish Snatcher, hey, how are you? Good to see ya. Well, we got Terry's, obviously we got Terry's uh, rigs right here in front of the camera. Mine are off to the right over here. I've got two set up. So we've got four rods out here in this deep, this deep water, this channel. You know, if I load up on one, we can just yeah, hand we'll, it over we'll to mine to and we'll get it. Hey, Richard Glenn, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Hey man, thank you so much. Hey, appreciate it, Richard. Y'all, I appreciate that. Love all y'all. Had a help for the liniment, buddy. I'm gonna need it by the time I get home. <laughs> My legs. Chicken's good. I've had good luck on chicken. I'll take chicken and uh, chunk it up, and I'll put it in a uh, like an old pickle jar. And I'll throw some uh, garlic salt on it, shake it up, let it sit outside for a day or two, and uh, you know let it kind of get in, be in the sun for a while, and then I'll I'll throw it out on the bottom like that. And chicken gizzard, you can do chicken gizzard the same way. I don't like using chicken liver because it falls apart, but chicken gizzard has more meat and it holds, it'll uh, hold to the hook. But I'll do chicken gizzard the same way. I'll put uh, garlic salt all over it. I don't like handling that chicken. I just, I rub my eyes and everything too much, fishing and everything. Then the next thing I know, I got, what's that, salmonella poison. You got salmonella poison. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I don't use chicken. I don't like using liver or nothing. I'll tell you something else, man. Another good bait is hot dogs. You can do hot dogs the same way. You can take hot dogs, chunk them up, throw some garlic salt on it. Sometimes people will take red jello and throw jello powder on it. Let it, uh, you know, it'll, it'll uh, color it red and they'll throw it out on the bottom. And uh, that's usually really good uh, channel cat, uh, catfish bait. Yeah, channel cat. I can either see close up or I can't see far off. I'm just going to wait on mine to load up. I'm almost pulling the water. There you go. Pull that out. Yes, we got to go, go, go. Oh, buddy, go, 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 go. He just bird nested me. I ain't gonna be able to. He it hit the button and fired me up. Did he? He's on there, but I'll never get him. Thought I've seen it move. Hit the button and it bird nested me. Is he on there? He was. I don't know if he still is or not. Oh, that's all right. I'll get this out then we'll try it. Because he's probably going to get hung up on that ledge anyway.
blind man trying to get a bird nest out. He's still on there, it's a miracle. He set the hook good, he should be good. That's what happens when you take a year off. Thank goodness for Angler Island, y'all. Not a bad blue. I am wore out and I ain't done nothing. We're still running, aren't we? Everybody's, yeah, I see it moving. I'm all out, Tom, and I ain't done nothing, man. I got down the water. <laughs> it sure does feel good to have Alan here fooling with the fish. Uh, I thought I seen that pole bend a second ago, then all of a sudden it went, and that's why the blues see it.
He's trying to get the hook out. I ain't got no pliers with me. Of course, they're in the car. I'm trying not to bring everything in. Oh, uh, where's my coffee? I need some coffee. My coffee's probably in the lake. No, it's on the ground. Oh, all right. Catfish Terry is back. <laughs> you want to hold your fish? Hold it up there. If I can pick him up, he's a big gun. There he is, boys, ladies and gentlemen. That's a big one. I might take it home and put it in my fish tank. <laughs> he's a nice one. I don't know if I got my scales in. I got mine. I got mine. I'll go get them. He's going to be all right. Let's see if Catfish Terry can lift it, y'all. I don't even know if I can lift it. What do you say, even on weight wise, y'all? We need you here, Tommy. Yeah, I'm guessing 14 to 17. Don't forget the hush puppies. That's worth the trip, y'all. Now these are good digital scales. I'm gonna hook it right here on this ring. I said 14 to 17. I don't know if time said 17. Uh, almost eight and a half. Oh, is it? Yeah. Not eight and a half. Yeah. Your scales ain't right. Hey, you get this in on pounds or kegs? Kegs, hold on. Yeah, put it on pounds. I'm sorry. If that's eight and a half, I'm quitting. I I'm can't, sorry. I can't handle them no, no. bigger. Hold on, he's bigger than that, Terry. He's uh, he's 18, 18.1. 18 pounds, buddy. Eight pounds, I was quitting. I was packing my reels I'm and sorry. leaving. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you got me straightened out. I stand corrected. You know, Tom, I think that's a mistake I made on my big fish. I found out later I've been using those scales on kegs. There you go. Hey. Pick him up and take a Coach picture. with us. Pick him up and we'll take your picture. I'm gonna get a couple like this another way. One, two, three. Is it taken? One, two, three. All right. And I won't get one home for Okay. That's a good one. One, two, three. Good job, buddy. Eighteen what? Eighteen one. Eighteen one. All right. I am out of breath. Yep. The beast. Get over here in front of the camera while I'm taking the picture. Turn it sideways, get the best picture, don't you? You get straight up and down. All right. Yeah. 
Hey, show everybody one more time. I'm gonna let you see it one more time, y'all, before I, we turn them loose. Let him go back home. <clears throat> Pat his belly. Hey, a fat boy. <laughs> y'all, I'm just tickled to death that y'all get to see one. Coach, don't be doing that, buddy. Put that to your house. 18 pounds. Alan told me eight pounds. I was going to walk off and leave my reels here. But it's a miracle to get that thing in because I bird nest my reel and had to get the bird nest out first. I love to put a little drama in my videos, y'all. Yeah, he swimmed away. Appreciate y'all being here. And y'all, everybody make sure you got this man right here. I tell you, I don't think I could land a big fish anymore. I'd probably be floating down the Hudson right now. That's a good fish, buddy. Appreciate it, Al. Yes, sir.